Hi guys, welcome to our new Miami home. Currently we're under construction and we should move in in a couple months. So excited to be moving from Fort Lauderdale to Miami. This is where all the action happens for us. We really wanted to have our finger in the pulse, but look at this view. I mean, waking up to that is amazing. Yeah, we found that we were commuting so much from Fort Lauderdale, it made more sense for us to be here in the center of all the action. The design district is here, all the art festivals are here, the museums are here, and most of our friends are here too. Our new home is located at 10 Museum Park, which is just north of downtown Miami, with amazing views of the port, the ocean, and the museums. We're so excited to be right next to the very famous Sahadi building. Like a lot of people moving from a home into an apartment, one of our biggest challenges is, how do we get our life to fit into the space? We're going to show you creative solutions on space planning, storage, and how this condo can live as large as a home. The kitchen is right in the middle of the main living area and we want it to unite everything. So one of the things we're doing is adding more storage cabinet that we sorely need in the main entrance and in the back of the dining room. This will give us a feeling of one very large space where everything interacts seamlessly. I love to cook and I love to entertain. So the way the kitchen is laid out at this point does not work whatsoever for us. So what we decided was to do a huge island which sits four people um, in counter stools, and then my cooktop is actually at the island, so I could look out to the people that are in the dining room or in the living room, and more importantly, in the view. It makes me feel like I'm part of the entertainment. So the pantry here is gonna be really useful. Yeah. I think you're gonna love having that morning kitchen, everything put away, everything nice and neat and tidy. I don't like seeing the mess. Yeah, so I, I like everything put away, everything has its place, everything has its label. Yeah, and we're gonna have plenty of countertop space here. The sink moves over just a little bit, but it's almost in the same spot. Mm -hmm. And with the bigger fridge, I think we'll be able to handle all of our stuff. It sounds something so silly as having like a regular garbage, you know, oh. size and recycling yeah, versus right now we have this tiny little thing. So the garbage will be right next to the sink, which right now it doesn't make any sense. It's in the island. Yeah, so the new faucet and everything is gonna be a lot nicer, yeah. uh, a lot prettier for us to see. And over here, you know, we're gonna have paneling that goes all the way down and conceals this powder room door so we won't see it anymore. So it's that whole idea of having the kitchen, the powder room, the, the dining room all feel like one space. Yeah, this cabin will be great. We have to take out part of the top of it to allocate it for switches and whatnot, but there's rollouts here as we get over here you've got a full set of doors with rollouts under everything yeah and i'm excited the fact that this is going to all be dark so when you walk into the space it almost feels like you have a little entry foyer, foyer. foyer. a little entry foyer it's like it'll a be little, up to about here yeah and then you were going to have a light in here right and then here are our two cabinets which are going to be in the same finish as our kitchen so i think it's all gonna blend in really nicely well, this will be super functional because with you've got four sets of doors and then it's rollouts up to about here about as high as you can see and then shelving all above i mean this wall is going to handle most of the stuff that we have so i'm going to have my appliances i'm going well, to some of your appliances will be over in a little yeah but the the baking stuff i'm planning to have here yep. i plan to have like our accessories the things we like to entertain i love the fact that we're going to have it like so easy access and all in one place yeah because i always change my mind on one moment i like to have one accessory out and then the, the next moment i like to have something else you change your mind a lot i change my <laughs> mind a lot so i like the fact that i'm going to have that all here and i love the fact that it's going to be all in the same finish so we have this dark kitchen we're going to have the dark paneling here and we have these creon lights and then i've missed having a long dining table I mean, right now we have like the dining attached to the island, but I can't believe I'm going back to some of the old formalities of more traditional lifestyle. I can't wait to do my big 
dining, yeah, dinner, parties. You'll be able to, be able to sit eight here and probably squeeze 10. Yeah. So I think we'll, and with the island over here, we can even seat more but, people. But think about it, with this space, I mean, the, the table doesn't consume the space. So I could do a fold out table. I could put a uh, tablecloth for like the holiday dinners or if we have a big dinner party. So I love the fact that this is all gonna be dark and then bam, then you have the explosion of light and the view coming out. So I love all that. We're standing in our main living area, which is a gorgeous two-story space. We love all the natural light that floods in from behind. We're going to show you our approach for, the, for space planning and for storage in this space. We should easily be able to sit six people here uh, on the sofa alone. The two womb chairs plus the seating on the wall unit, I think we'll be able to get 10 or 12, easy. For me, that corner, I'm so excited about because that's the corner I'm gonna nestle in, bring my blanket, look at the view, watch TV. That's, that's our like, as long corner. As you share it with me. We're I'll good. share it with you. <laughs> and then the, the womb chairs, having the ottoman and having yeah. those little his and her reading nook, I think is gonna be really special. And then, you know, when we have guests, they could sit on the womb chair or we could use the ottoman as additional seating. Well, the ledge we're doing here too, I mean, it's the full length of the room um, and the, the ledge is at a really convenient height. How many height. feet? 20 feet? That's worth, almost 20 feet. Worth and, of storage that we're going to well, have. Storage below, storage above, TV in the middle, and really it's like one long bench. Um, I like the fact that I'll have a place to display my favorite accessories on both sides, which I think will create some balance. And then, you know, the mirror too. The fact that we're going to have the mirror well, reflect. The mirror's right about here. It's but right it's going to reflect the view, so it's going to be nice. You know how that light comes in at oh, night? Yeah. Well, when you're sitting here, it's really right at eye level, so you'll be able yeah. to reflect the view behind And you. I could still get on the stairs and grab all, you know, anything that we stored on the cabinets above. Right, I should be okay. Everything only goes up to the, to the ceiling height right. here. So, yeah, with just a little step ladder, you'll be able so to So I'll be able to put my, our Christmas, Halloween, right. Thanksgiving decorations. We'll be all in here. I mean, I think we'll have plenty, plenty of storage. And I think oh, that's sure. one of the biggest challenges that I think people face when they come from a, from a house to a, a, a condo. It's like, where do you put your Christmas stuff? Where do you put your entertainment stuff? It's all going to be in this wall along with the dining. So I think we're good. Yeah, we should be good. In this awkward space, we decided to put our bar here. So it's gonna be a low cabinet with rollouts and storage and a stone top where we're able to easily um, make a drink, entertain. Yeah, that's a natural extension of the kitchen. It's made out of the same material and it'll really flow seamlessly. So if we wanna make a drink for, for one of our friends or her family and- Or we're, for me. Or for you, or for you. <laughs> she doesn't it's, it's easy access to the kitchen, which we have access to water and ice. And it's really easy to be able to entertain outdoors where we really see ourselves spending a lot of time in. We're standing upstairs in what will become our master suite. Behind us is the master bathroom and closet. We're going to show you how we're dealing with all the storage uh, dilemmas that we've encountered. So on this wall, we are putting my closet, which I'm super excited about. It's going to have plenty of storage for all my hanging, um, for my shoes, for my purses. And that's going to be, um, the bed's going to be floating away from that. So it's going to give me plenty of space to be able to use that as a dressing area. And it's gray mirror, which is great for reflection. Yeah, we were able to double that space, um, a lot of for closets. In the bathroom, that was all the master closet there was before. I can't even imagine how anyone could do that. I'm excited to have my own little throne where I like to do my makeup. It's part of my little ritual that I like to have. And to be able to have a mirror with a light already built in, which I have a hard time seeing now in my 40s. Um, and then my floor length mirror with the lighting in it as well, I think it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to having the shower with the window so that we can get the view of the water while we're taking the shower. The bed is our custom BNG design and it's going to hit the ceiling and it's a version of what we have at home right now in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it's very similar. Uh, we put it up on a platform. It's, it's a four poster canopy bed. Um, but it's going to float in the middle of the space. As Giselle talked about, the back wall is all wardrobe 
and we had to um, leave enough space between the wardrobe and the bed so that you could walk by. So it floats off three feet. Um, the nightstands will be built in. The, there's going to be lighting overhead. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to you know, still having what I love so much about our for Lauderdale home bed. It's a oh, room within a room. room it's within a, cozy a room. Space. These condos really don't give you too much space. So we did medicine cabinets that have built in lights along the whole wall so we're going to have plenty of spaces to be able to have storage and have light and then you're going to have there's a his and hers vanity there is drawer space um which i think is going to be great i'm happy that we turned the new shower around uh in a different direction this wall over here is going to have your body sprays on it and a hand shower and then we'll have my rain head up above all wrapped in gray glass it'll be really pretty you know, I think we've been influenced by so many hotels that we've gone to, For and sure. I think this was definitely a product of that. Um, this is kind of like our little morning kitchen. It's gonna have an upper cabinet, a lower cabinet, it's gonna have a fridge, but um, I'm excited to have that, and I think that's definitely been an, a, an amazing evolution from our, from our travels. And then in the, in the commode area, yeah, we, we, you finally got your wish and you got your intelligent toilet and instead put a full height linen cabinet, which we really need. We really need that linen cabinet. For the design of our new home, we were inspired by our travels to places such as Paris, Madrid and Milan, where we really appreciate the mixture of classical detailing with modern design. Unlike our current home in Fort Lauderdale, which has more of a zen-like feel, we wanted to create a metropolitan look here in Miami that really echoes the sensibility of the city. On our next episode, we invite you to join us as we take you from concept to implementation.